Hello world, I'm Blue Dolphin with the Hoplite Security Channel and today we're going to be getting into another Cyber CTF Weekly Roundup. I'm excited about this one. Let's get into it. Jumping right into things, very excited about the StandCon CTF 2022 event happening this weekend. But a quick high level, we're going to be starting off with the now running CTFs. I'm going to quickly go over the past events, then we're going to talk about the upcoming events. So let's start with the now running. And this is going to be the StandCon CTF 2022. Jumping over to the web page here, I am going to have a more in-depth guide about this CTF, so make sure to check that out. But for now, a quick summary. This is an event running this weekend. And what's really unique about this is it is a social focused CTF in which everyone comes together in the town square. And from there, they work together to get off the island and solve the challenges. And they have this beautiful graphic here for their instructions. And again, Check out my other video for the details, but essentially what's going to happen is you have to go through this really cool town. It's going to be in an 8-bit type environment and you can see here, this is what it looks like. And you go through this island trying to escape and unlocking CTFs along the way. And it's social oriented. So this means there's going to be other people here. And what's unique is you actually have your video footage and your mic open so you can gather together and work as a team of people which is awesome because it just boosts the morale and overall it just makes it a fun event when you can work with others but if that's not your thing you can totally do it solo as well but big shout out to StandCon for this CTF I'm really excited to get into it this weekend but let's jump back over to CTF time for now so StandCon CTF is the only currently running CTF there's 21 hours let's talk about the past events we have Tenable CTF 22, which just ended, Just CTF 2022, and then We CTF 2022. Now, upcoming events. We have a big roster. We have five listed events here. Let's take a look at Typhoon Con CTF. I don't know anything about these upcoming CTFs except for the Google one. So we're going to be going through this together. And it looks like this Typhoon Con CTF runs for four days. Very cool and starts Monday. It's a Jeopardy style. And it looks like what makes them unique is that it will be hosting an on-site and an online CTF, especially crafted challenges, along with fantastic prizes. Let's take a look at the website here. So it looks like they're using CTFD platform. That's very cool. And I don't think we can see much without registering here. And of course, it doesn't start till Monday and we can see here it hasn't started yet. So we're not going to get a lot of information away. This looks really neat. And I know when Monday rolls around, I'm probably going to jump in and check it out just to see what it's about and get an idea for what exactly they're bringing to the table here. But initially it looks neat and I'm excited. It's it looks like it's a CTF based out of Seoul, Korea. Very cool. Jumping back over to CTF time, we have a B-Sides TLV 2022 CTF. And if you don't know, B-Sides is a big cybersecurity conference that is held in major cities around the world, often accompanied by a CTF. Taking a look at this, let's have a look at their website. And it's most likely a case where you can only participate in this if you are attending this conference. That's usually the case here. A CTF starts in nine days and runs for 48 hours here. It does say remote participation is allowed for all teams this year. And I do think you have to get a ticket to join. I'm just checking. So we have the FAQ here, and it does say that some of the challenges are for beginners. They have a specific question about binary exploitation. So very neat. It does look like at the end, they're also gonna release the entire repo of challenges. So that's cool. This could be an opportunity for you to go through all the challenges after the fact, and just take your time without the pressure and without 
the rush to just work your way through slowly, learning new things along the way without that pressure. Very cool. Okay, let's jump back over to CTF time. Of course, we have a big one. Google capture the flag 2022. Amazing. Having a look at the website here, they haven't updated yet. So this is still the website from 2021 and it's probably going to be updated shortly here. But if we take a look, the CTF is going to be starting Friday, July 1st, and it runs to the third. Now there's a big factor here that's very important with Google CTF. And that is there are two routes to go. There is the competitive side, which is for teams of, I believe, up to five. And it's very difficult. Then there's the beginner quest, which you can do in teams or by yourself. And I'll give you a little look at the beginner quest from last year. You can see it's opened up here. I was just solving some challenges again, because I obviously haven't done this for a year, but I will be diving into these challenges and covering them when Beginner's Quest does release. And bear in mind, the Beginner's Quest is out all year. So you can actually, you have all year if you want to go through these challenges, take your time or you're a beginner, you don't want to feel pressured. It's very cool. I really appreciate this. What we're looking at now is the interface for the Google CTF from last year. But I'm expecting this all to be updated at any point now. And when it is, I'm going to make sure to drop a video and update the community as well, because I'm really looking forward to this. But I will say last year or in 2021, what we're looking at now, these challenges were all based around coding. So if you weren't a coder, this would have been a little difficult, whereas the older challenges were well-rounded, kind of like a Jeopardy style CTF. You had your web, your pwn, your reverse engineering, your forensics, and that was very cool. So we'll see what Google delivers, but they always deliver an amazing CTF. With that being said, there's also the competitive side, which they don't really have a whole lot here to see from last year. I might be looking at this the wrong way. You can see the matches of the final teams. You can actually go and watch a video, which is kind of cool, of the finalists participating. And that's kind of neat. So you can see their terminal screens and their interaction with this little world or sandbox that Google created. Very cool. And you can see they have match one, match two, match three, match four, and the tournament bracket here. That's pretty neat. But I don't think you can actually join the challenges in 2021, the competitive side of things. If I'm wrong, please comment down below and let me know. Let's jump back over to CTF time. Next, we have Faust CTF, which has 30 teams registered, lasts for nine hours. That's interesting. Let's take a look. It's an attack and defense style CTF. This is very interesting. The description reads, classic online attack defense CTF. Each team will be given a Vaughn box image to host itself in VPN access. You will run exploits against other teams, capture flags and submit them to our server. This is very neat. You don't see this a lot. And if you're wondering, Hey, Blue Dolphin, this sounds great, but where do I even go to learn about attack and defense CTFs? No problem. Hack the Box has you covered. Browse over there. They have a whole platform which is recently released dedicated to attack and defense. And if you need a guide, something to actually help you through and give you a process, just search up and you'll find them on GitHub. Attack and defense style guides on GitHub or Hack the Box attack and defense guides on GitHub. There are some really neat guides made some made by some amazing people to help you along the way. All right, let's get back to FOSS CTF here and check out the website. Okay, well, there's not a whole lot here and you know that's because it hasn't started yet. And it starts on July 9th. So that's pretty cool. It's nine hours. I don't know if I'll participate. I feel like I'm just going to get pwned if I do. I'm not sure. More details coming soon. We'll see. It's a little intimidating at first. I haven't done a whole lot of attack and defense. I've done a little bit, but I'm not experienced by any means. Let's jump back over to CTF time and take a look at our last upcoming event. This is going to be VS CTF 2022. And it looks like it is going to be a one day CTF starting Saturday, July 9th. It looks like it's organized by a team known as ViewSource. And 
It has challenges for players of all skill levels, and everyone is welcome to participate. Let's take a look at the website. There's nothing on the website. It starts in 21 days. Okay, well that's a wrap. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know about any other CTFs, please, 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 that I may have missed that are not on CTF time because they, just because they're on CTF time doesn't mean they don't exist. So please let me know. And with that being said, see everyone in the next video.